Quentin Byfield. Um, there have, was a lot of conversation about what was expected of him. Um, a lot were really disappointed in what they saw in, in Quentin Byfield. Um, I'll start this by saying that I wasn't. Um, I thought that, that as part of the second period, he was a guy that was noticeable for me a bit more. Um, he did create some chances. Uh, at, at one point, he had a, a really good chance in the second period. He was on late. Could there have been more? Possibly. Um, yeah, I, I can see that. But um, I, I think there was people that were saying that he disappeared. I just completely disagree with that. I thought he was engaged in, in the game. I think what maybe needs to happen is is maybe the next level is how he engages better. Maybe that that's the issue, but I think the argument that he disappeared, I don't think that that was a fair fair because I do think he was engaged. Yeah, he was. He was engaged. He had a, a couple good shifts, but I throughout the turn, other than the one game, I just I didn't feel like he was at the top of his game. And it's a t- it, this is one of the toughest turn- world junior tournaments for players to be at the top of their game. Like you haven't played it, you haven't played. Uh, usually, you, you've played half a season leading up to this, a couple, and then you've had a, a really a competitive camp. Um, but other than, but unfortunately, uh, Canada had not many, not many players play a single game. You had. The, you had the the COVID the the COVID quarantine issue uh, halfway through their camp, and then yeah, it just the. He like said, "I'm not going to throw I'm not going to throw Byfield under the bus, and because I don't think he deserves it, but I he just wasn't wasn't up to snuff. But like I said, it's just it's top one of the toughest tournaments to even like try and evaluate a player." Uh, we talked about this in the in the last recap where you have Kevin. You were comparing uh, Askarov to Levi, and now we've got Knight versus Levi. Again, it's just short tournament, small sample size, coming off of one of the weirdest years we've had. Not not playing much before the tournament. Um, I'm, I'm giving him a pass on this. Uh, he's a, he's a much better player than he showed in this tournament. But uh, as a as a as a Canadian as a Canadian and, and and wanting them to win, he just he left he left me wanting more in this tournament. Yeah, yeah um, I, he definitely left me wanting more too, Sean. I, uh, I my my biggest thing is that okay, if you if you aren't a that big of a hockey nut, um, and you, you just take a look at you know this past draft, Quinn Byfield went second to LA. Uh, uh, Tim Stutzla went to Ottawa. He had Lucas Raymond after that. Jake Sanderson, Drysdale, Holtz, Quinn, Polfetti, Rossi, um, Askarov, Lundell. Like go down the list of that first um, uh, first round, and you you will see majority of players that potentially played better than Byfield. And just the fact that he went second overall, I think that's what people are putting him way up high and having high expectations because he, he was a second overall um, draft pick and he definitely was not his best, but you know, once again, it wasn't, it wasn't for a lack of trying. Um, it, 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 it's just the, the circumstance that this year and what COVID has brought to the hockey world is that, yeah, you, you're not at the top of your game. So it, uh, it it's unfortunate. Um don't 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 write him off. If you're writing him off now, you're an idiot. <laughs> Period. Stop. And you, you need to take uh, take a take your give your head a shake because these kids have a lot to prove and they they have a lot on their shoulders. Um, but uh, yeah, Quinn Byfield will be an effective NHLer. I truly believe that. And the LA Kings have a great player within him. So uh, yes, he had a shitty tournament or not a good tournament. Um, but you know, he, he, he's just a kid. He's Let still, grow. yeah, he's still eligible for next year's tournament. And if he's back, he will dominate. Yeah. He will dominate. I, next I year. think he will be back. I don't think that it, the, where LA is at in there, um, as a, as a NHL team, they, they're not going to be contending. So let him marinate there. There's never, never a bad thing to let 
a player um, develop longer. I look, look at uh, Detroit being uh, kind of a uh, a streamlined version of that is that they they let everybody marinate down there um, in in the AHL or just not even bringing them up in uh, right away. So uh, yeah, just just keep that in mind. If I'm if I'm LA, I'm playing him in the AHL until the until they know what the OHL looks like this year, and then. Uh, yeah, you let him come into camp next year and see what he where, where he's at. But uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not rushing. He's not he's he's not someone you rush at all. No, he's no. he was a very young young draft pick in this year. So they, so they say he's got one more he's got one more year left on, on uh, in uh, to be uh, <clears throat> in this tournament. And if he comes back next year, and I, I agree with Devin, I think he will. He's going to absolutely dominate. Um, and that's going to be fun to watch, but they like said Devin Devin ran ran down like Lafreniere wasn't playing, but uh, all the picks two through uh, two through twelve were, and Stutzel one best one of the best forwards in this tournament. Oh, Raymond, yeah, Raymond played really well. Sanderson yeah. played really well. Drysdale one of the best defensemen in this tournament. Holtz had an underwhelming. A tournament but still was a little bit better i th- i think was better than than uh uh byfield quinn hold on but before before you go to quinn holtz it, he showed his shot and yeah, he showed yeah. how dangerous he can be in the offensive zone and yes he didn't play he, he didn't show up on the score sheet too too much but him and lucas raymond played an amazing uh game together and yeah so holtz god he it's new jersey they're they're watching this tournament and they are smiling Jack, Jack, uh, Jack Hughes, uh, Nick Hugh uh and, and uh, Alexander Holtz are going to be really good together. Oh God, yeah, that's scary. Uh, Jack Quinn, he—I just don't think he meshed well with this team. He didn't. He didn't. Yeah, I, what, I don't. For yeah. whatever reason, it just every time, every every line he went on, he was good. But every time he was like whatever, whoever they put out on instead of him worked better for some reason just didn't didn't quite work but he's gonna be good don't don't sleep on jack Quinn. he's got a good shot um marco rossi just unfortunately playing for austria they were the the one team like all this talk about like revamping the the uh, going to an eight team tournament the only team that really stunk it up was was austria and they sold marco rossi and there's only so much he could he could have done with that with that team in in this tournament. Um, Minnesota has a stud of a of a player in Marco Rossi. Cole Perfetti was again I I was underwhelmed, but he's going to come back. Byfield and Perfetti next year, watch out, they're coming back. Both of them are coming back next year. Perfetti, he it didn't sound like he got enough ice time that I liked um, personally, and I thought that uh, he. he that when he when he was on the ice, he he him and Tomasino. I thought that they were similar. Um, they they were in Tomasino more so obviously because he got the goals and goals mean everything in this game. But um, I thought that they they were cut from the similar cloth in the sense that they just didn't get the ice time that I thought they should have gotten. And then um, and then you've got Askarov who was hot and cold. We. Uh, I, I I liked uh, Ray Ferraro on, on TSN 1040 today, calling basically calling him an unmade bed. Like he's he's got like he's got all the skills. He just you just need to you just need to hone them in. Uh, he he played. I thought he played really well t- today for Russia. It's just uh, I, I could go into. To, I, I could talk big, big on on Russia. Ray Ray did a, a great hit on on ten forty talking about that too. Talking about the the uh, the difference between the KHL style and the style that Larry Onoff wanted to make the team play, and I think that really threw the team for a loop. Um, they were not playing hockey; they were thinking hockey. And when you're thinking hockey, when you're on the ice, you're not going to win. So that was the biggest issue with Russia um, going into this. Um, and then you've got Anton Lundell who really stepped up and, and was clutch today for, uh, for Finland. Um, I talked about it in, when we reviewed the draft, having Lundell learn from Barkov is going to be really good for Florida. 
it's that, gonna be scary. You, sorry, yeah, Kemp, go for it. Florida is gonna be one of those teams that's gonna be interesting to watch too. Like, I mean, they had they made one of the dumbest decisions of the decade that they're gonna have to live with for a long time and getting Bobrovsky. But they're gonna be a fun team. To, they'll, they'll be a team to watch, I think. Well, yeah. the, I, I'd, I'd give Bobrovsky another year to figure figure things out. Give up goaltender. We've talked about it. Goaltenders are weird. They can have off years. He yeah. had a really off year. Like he just give him time. Give him another year to see where he's at. If he's still absolute shit in front of uh, in in Florida th- after this year, then we can start talking. Um, Spencer Knight, you're probably going to marinate him a little bit longer because of Bobrovsky. Yeah. You're going to you're going to let him play. Uh, He's, he's done one year. He's draft plus one this year. You're gonna let him go draft plus two, maybe draft plus three in the NCAA. But ho- I bet you they'll try and sign him after uh, after this year, and then have him play at least a year or two in uh, in the AHL, and then bring him up. The Corey Schneider, the Thatcher Demko, the um, Vasilevsky as well uh, went through that, although he got called up, I think, after one year. Um, but goaltenders do take a little bit of time, and taking that step from junior NCAA to AHL and then to NHL is our big steps. So don't, don't expect um, Knight Askarov to take that step Re, uh, and and make it in in one year. Uh, those those goalies are few and far between. We've seen it with Carey Price. We've seen it with Carter Hart uh, in, in in most in, in the in recently. But I don't expect it. If it if it happens, that's that's a blessing for both Nashville and and Florida. But don't expect it. I want to just go back to Anton Lindell. Um, he is a. I think he's underrated. Uh, I thought he played a great two-way game, and he's just going to continue on that track. And, yeah, uh, having Barkov to learn from and to um, marinate with, it, like that, that is going to be a scary one-two punch um, within the next three years or so. Um, and, yeah, as far as Florida goes, I mean, Dale Talon's not there anymore, thank God for them actually uh, because yeah he i I feel like he made a bunch of stupid moves um overall i was not a fan of him and this is the second year of joel quenville um coach q he will amaze you and he will you know he's he's a bit of an old school coach but i feel like he uh giving him one more year um or another year uh underneath uh the the, you know the, the leadership that they have down in florida um, with Ekblad, with Barkov, with Huberdeau, um, I think that uh, that they'll be they'll be a sneaky good team. Yeah. Um, the 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 one thing is they need to they need to start making moves and start pushing up the 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 standings because Barkov's Barkov's contract's up and he's a, he's he's a UFA in two years. So Lendell looks like his contract in Finland is up after this season. So hopefully they can get him over and doing that tutelage under Barkov for the one year. And hopefully they can build on that uh, going forwards. And then, like I said, they've got Devin Levi and Spencer Knight coming up through the ranks uh, um, on the goaltending side. Uh, so uh, Knight, Spencer Knight looks like the real deal. Devin Levi could re like, I, I, I want to see I want to see how he does going forwards. Uh, we talk about how goaltenders can get hot and get go on a heater and, and really just stonewall uh, um, teams. Uh, I want to see I want to see what what he does going forwards. But he's he looks good, uh, and it, it, it this was a very very good tournament for him. Just ask uh, Andrew Hammond and uh, Jim Carrey how uh, you know hot streaks happen. Yeah. The net yeah. detective, <laughs> the net uh, detective and the hamburglar, two of the best nicknames in hockey history. 